What's happening, y'all? This is Josh back with Iron Bull Training Grounds. Um, I just got to thinking today. I come out to my gym. Let me tell you a little bit about my gym, Iron Bull Training Grounds. This was a guest house that we used to let people rent out of. And um, once the last person moved out of it, we said we weren't going to rent it anymore. So we, um, <clears throat> or me, I decided to take all the cabinets, everything out, kind of make it one big blank room. And um, I started out, I put a bench press out here. Wish I had pictures of it all, how it kind of started. But it had been one bench press out here. And um, I'm very blessed, I guess you could say, of how much stuff I'm, that I've accumulated in less than a year. But I need a bigger building. And with a bigger building is gonna come more stuff. This one here is 1,200 square feet. I mean, it's not big. That's, I mean, it's okay. Especially for something at your house, right beside your house. I'm literally 20 feet from my door. But um, I need a bigger building. So I'm kinda looking for one right now. And if um, I can find a bigger building, I'm gonna open a bigger gym. And when I have a bigger gym, I better have some people that want to lift some heavy ass weight in there. I got everything I need right here. But I want to expand the strength and conditioning, powerlifting, strongman. I want to expand that in my area because it's, I'm the only one that's got strongman equipment around here that I know of. There's one other guy 30 minutes away from where I live. And uh, he has some stuff, but he travels, he's never home. So really, I'm the only one around here who has all the stuff that you need, or won't. And like, if I have a contest coming up, what I do is I go see what the events are. If I don't have the implements, I get them made or I buy them. But I'm gonna kind of show y'all a little bit of what I have now. This was the first thing that I put in here was a bench press. I just thought I'd bring you to that first. It's a decent bench. I'm gonna get a better one, but it does its job. And we made this deadlift platform. It's pretty nice. There's horse style mats on the end. Plywood. Got plywood up under the horse style mat, so it's gonna protect the floor. Then I went off and bought me several weights, and I got more that I'll show you when I get to the other side. Some of them I just kind of spray painted because it was a little rusty looking. That was the first log that I purchased from my USA Strength Street Shop. USA, yeah, that's what it's called. Then I bought this one here in the corner. For the kids, it's an eight inch. Then I went out and got this one. It's about seven foot long. Uh, from Pitbull Strongman. Y'all check him out, it's an awesome log. We even used this in a competition we had here in Louisiana. And uh, got a little bit of wear and tear that day. Some records made, pretty awesome. Then I went and bought this 10 inch from Titan. So I got this 10 inch from Titan, and I got this eight inch from Titan. And uh, they're actually pretty good logs in my opinion. Ain't having problems with them. Got a old duffalo bar over here. Viking press handles, easy bar. Farmer's handles. Then I got these three circus dumbbells. The one in the middle order from Titan. It actually did me pretty good. But I wanted something a little more heavy duty. So I ordered this 10 inch here and ordered this 12 inch. And um, if anybody's interested in buying any quality circus dumbbells that's gonna hold up, this one here is supposed to be 100, it's 98 pounds, so it's pretty freaking close. This one was supposed to be 50, it's 50, right on the money. So, if anybody's interested in getting one, just uh, message me. 
and uh, I'll give you the guy's name. And I got the Rolling Thunder handle. And I bought these benches and some of these dumbbells and this dumbbell rack from a guy. And uh, I only got up to 60 down there. I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna add some more. I need some heavier ones. So I'm gonna add some more here. But I mean, it's got a little bit of rust on it. Still usable. 25 pounds is 25 pounds. Then I got these stones here. There was a gym that shut down in Shreveport, Louisiana that I got some stones from. I had a few stones, but the heavier ones I got from that gym. And I got some kegs. Not all these kegs come from there, but several of them did. This is a cheap yoke from TDS. And it's actually uh, held up really good. I'm not the strongest on the yoke, but I can get 750 on a yoke. And I mean, I didn't have no problem with it. Then I bought this rack right here. I had to take out part of the cylinder, which I'm gonna end up taking all that out anyway. Because unless you're short like me, I'm actually still a pretty good ways from that. Unless you're short like me, the cylinder's gonna be in the way. I got a buddy of mine, it's gonna hang me some lights up there. But anyway, back to this rack. Show you this sucker, it's, it's a nice rack. 100 bucks, that's all I spent on that. 100 bucks. Then I got these grenade balls. You can do pull-ups with, helps you with your grip strength. <clears throat> I got this SSB, I'm gonna try to get me either one from Rogue or Elite FTS, I believe is what it's called. But this one's gonna do for now. But just kind of giving y'all a look at the gym. I'm kind of in the corner now to kind of give y'all a few, uh, full view. But I mean, I got plenty of room for what I got to do. I was just going to give y'all a little breakdown of what I have. If anybody's ever in the area, come over here and train. And go USA.